Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing another eye off, another dupe or be duped. How do I feel? I am absolutely excited to do this one. Urban Decay Naked Heat was my jam when this first came out. Oh my gosh, I wore this all the, all the time. I know that wasn't that long ago, but I picked this thing up probably a couple times a week just because I love the oranges, the peaches, and how pretty it looks. So I did go on Hush's website and Bad Habit has a dupe called Inferno. So because I'm enjoying the heck out of doing these dupe or be duped videos, I decided to, yes, do one eye in Inferno and one eye in the Urban Decay Naked Heat. So go ahead and make your guess which one is which, which eye is Urban Decay, which eye is the Inferno palette. So if you can't tell which eye is what, hmm, should you spend your money on the Urban Decay Naked or do you save money and go with the Inferno palette? So let your eyes do the decision making. But you're gonna see me go ahead and do this makeup look. I went ahead and did the Urban Decay Eye first, explained what colors I used, and then I went in and recreated it with the Inferno Eye. So just wanted to give you a little bit about that and what's coming up. Um, I would say the Inferno palette has a little bit more fallout than the Naked Heat, but I did have to tap my brush on both. The Inferno palette is smaller. It does have the mirror on the inside, as you saw. Naked Heats is a heavy, sturdy palette, so if you travel a lot, that might actually be better because it it is heavier and sturdier. And a lot of people buy the Naked Heat because they love Urban Decay. So as far as that goes, um, again, you're gonna see how I created these looks. And if you are fully anticipating or you, that's not the right words, but if you can't stand it anymore, the left eye today is the Urban Decay and the right eye today is the Inferno palette. So if you wanna see how I created this look using both palettes going in an eye off, you're in the right place. Okay, so ladies, stay tuned. so I went ahead and used the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and in these colors that I used, I used ounce on my eyebrow chaser all over. I used low blow in the transition. I darkened it up with some cayenne. Then I went in with He Devil around the eyelid. Um, I took ashes on the outer corner and I used lumber for this peachy goodness right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate the Naked Heat Eye using Bad Habits Inferno palette. And you know, I probably should have double checked to make sure all the colors I used were in the Inferno palette first, but I wasn't that smart. I wasn't that smart. So here we go. All right. So we're gonna take the color Baked. Baked is gonna be our canvas. Then we're gonna pick up the color Smolder. just really is an amazing dupe and the shadows are going on fantastic it just amazes me how good bad habit does I just I can't get over it it's like they've recreated the palettes out of the leftovers from the originals. I don't know. Maybe they have a secret in with the people that do the formulas. Something's going on because these things are really good. All right. I'm going to go in with the color Hot Spot. I'm 
And then I'm going to pick back up some smolder. I did use the Urban Decay Jean Michael Basquiat in Anatomy. I'll do the Marc Jacobs. This color is in Earthquake. And we will use the Marc Jacobs. And I did forget to use the white hot here. I'm going to use the Max Color Whirl for my lips. And then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Jean-Paul Basquet lip, and this is in the color Abstract. And that completes our look. So hair is next. I'll be back. Thank you so much for watching this video today using the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay and Bad Habits Inferno palette. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.